King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. This one's pretty awesome and I really love uh, what I'm going to show you here. It's basically creating a film look. Say you're shooting, you know, not obviously in film, but maybe you have a home video camera or you're shooting in HD or mini DV or whatever, um, and you want your, your movie to look like film. Well, I'm going to show you a quick tip. I like this method. There's a lot of methods out there for creating a film look, but here's one that I think is simple and uh, it's really effective. Let me play a before clip here. Just a band. And now here's an after clip. You can see it's a lot more distinct. The colors are more contrasted. And uh, there's the, gives it a little blur too. But let me show you how I did that effect here. I'm going to take the original clip here. And I'm going to duplicate it. So by holding shift and option key, I can pull up and there will be two exactly same, the exact same tracks, one above the other. And what I'm going to do is take it, the top one, and actually I should have done this. I should have added the color corrector to both, but anyway, I'm going to add the three-way color corrector. Uh, if you don't have it in your favorites, it's under your video filters, color correction, and... So I've got the top one. I'm going to come to my color corrector and lower the saturation all the way. And now I'm going to right click on it. Composite mode. And there's a list of all these composite modes here. I'm going to hit overlay. Now what that does, it's going to say your video needs to be rendered. That's okay. We'll render it at the end. But what that does is you can now see the top and the bottom as well at the same time. So you're really looking at two video tracks with different filters. Now the bottom one is here's what we're going to do the magic. We're going to come in our color corrector here and start adjusting. I'm going to lower the whites a little bit. I'm going to make the blacks a little bit green. And I'm also going to raise the blacks. Saturation up a tiny bit in the mids, maybe down a little bit there. Mids possibly a little little purple. Okay. So now if I render that out for you, you can see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. Now let's play it and see what it looks like. Great. And I still think that looks a lot better than the original clip we had. And here's the other version I had as well. I guess I could have turned it up the brights a little bit to come up here and possibly make it uh, the mids a little more yellow and that'll give it a, a warmer feel but this is a rock music video and so we really didn't necessarily need that kind of feel but uh, here's another clip I had here's the original and you can see how dark and messed up this was from the beginning and you can see the the dip difference using this color correction way of making it look like film it looks a lot better. And one of the characteristics of film is the grainy look. Uh, you get that in film. It's just nice, crisp, but at the same time pretty grainy and old-fashioned. And you, you can see that here in this clip. This one turned out really well. And uh, so that's the basics of doing the film effect look. And try it out in your video. See how it looks. And it, I think it really improves the look of your footage. Check out FinalCutKing.com for more video tutorials. Um, I've got a blog going every single day, articles uh, popping up, and uh, this summer, June 2009, launching some brand new products uh, that you can buy, and they're going to be awesome, just awesome. So I'll see you guys later.